there was multiple soldiers there talking about, as we've discussed before, throwdowns. Uh, we've discussed ways that they make it look like the body was uh, coming towards them in an aggressive manner when it wasn't. Blooding, that's probably the most disturbing one. Blooding is when they go out and they kill someone, regardless of whether or not they're innocent or indeed uh, a soldier, to give, like, it's real old school tribal stuff, you know, give them their taste of murder so that they're hungry for it in the future. So do you think they're boasting or are they joking about war crimes? I delve myself in that grey area of making a point and joking at the same time. It is possible to do both. In fact, I would say that at every joke there is a kernel of truth. You've had your house firebombed twice now? Yeah. Are you worried? I'm used to getting a lot of death threats. Uh, you would have to categorise these ones as more serious than the average death threat. Have you had any uh, conversations at all at an official level with police or anyone else about your security in the comments that you've made? No, as usual, the closest thing that I get to uh, official assurance, firebombing was a uh, rare circumstance, but the police have actually been extremely cooperative. But when it comes to uh, these threats, usually what happens is it just goes to my lawyers and then they kick up a fuss about it and no one really listens. Do you have any theories as to who was behind the firebombing? Oh, I've got theories. <laughs> I've got a lot of theories. Doesn't that terrify you? Not really. I don't know, I'm just not that scared of death. I'm scared of ghosts, <laughs> but I'm not scared of death. <laughs> May as well go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs>